Reading Pioneers is proud to present The Littlest Hound, a lovable Italian greyhound's tale. Written by Cassie and Patrick Garber. Illustrated by Anna Ristoff. Hello, my dear friend. I'm so glad that you're here. I've been waiting my whole life to chew on your ear. I'm Lola, the showgirl, the littlest hound. I'm snugly and fast. I'm not very round. I'm an Italian greyhound. Perhaps you've heard of my kind. We resemble the greyhounds, but are much smaller, you'll find. They called me the runt, as I was such a small critter. It's true. I was born the littlest hound of my litter. In Macon, Georgia, I spent weeks growing strong. But my siblings, they started to leave before long. Then, one sunny afternoon, some Two leggers came in. I wanted to be chosen. So I licked the gal on her chin. I heard them both say, Yes, she's the one. They carried me outside before my dinner was done. It was happening. I was moving. I was excited and scared. Where to? What now? Would my new house be shared? That first night was rough, one I'll never forget. Things were new, smells were different, a bit tough for a pet. Then down on the ground, my mom made a soft bed. She pet me and told me, I'd be the family's best friend. As days went by, I felt more calm and at ease. We went swimming together. They let me bark at the trees. But things changed one morning. Dad put some clothes in a bag. He talked of a deployment. His duty to defend our flag. My heart sank again. I'd miss him over the miles. But Dad gave me the job to love Mom and share smiles. First, I felt grumpy, then confused, then sad. We enrolled in puppy school to help get through missing Dad. This twist of emotions, still a break in my heart. We dug deep to find courage, and a new routine we did start. My mom took up yoga. We went on long walks. We found moments of joy through our cuddles and talks. Then, a few months later, I heard the great news. Dad's headed home. Uh, think he'll miss those shoes? Mom scooped me up and we hopped in the car. Windows down. Woohoo! I knew we couldn't be far. And then we saw him. My heart skipped a beat. He bent down to pet me. I knocked him right off his feet. We were all so excited. We were together at last. Now we'd have time to make up for the past. Fast forward to now, 14 years have flown by. And our family has grown by eight legs. My, my, my. My hearing is fading. 
and I can't see anymore. But I'll still find sunshine and cheese if they land on the floor. It's wild, you know, this thing we call life. There will be days filled with uncertainty and nights filled with strife. But keep going, sweet child. Don't run from your fears. Go outside, be a friend, and learn lessons from tears. Don't get discouraged when at the end of your rope. The sun rises each morning and reminds us there's hope. There are so many questions in life you will ask. Solving problems or trusting instincts can be difficult tasks. If you find yourself worrying about the path up ahead, just recall some strong things like your faith and your bed. Had those newlyweds not visited and picked me up that day, my life would look differently. That's a fact I can say. When we nurture relationships with our loved ones and pets, we grow memories even the littlest hounds won't forget. And though my eyes can't see it, I can tell you it's real. Lead your life with your heart, and it's love that you'll feel. Thank you, Pioneers, for reading with us today to the book, The Littlest Hound, A Lovable Italian Greyhound's Tale, by Cassie and Patrick Garber. I love this story and seeing how cute and supportive Lola was to her new family. Dogs are said to be man's best friend, and this book encapsulates this perfectly. I hope you support Cassie and Patrick by checking out their website, thelittlesthound.com, where you could get a signed copy of this beloved story. They can also be found on Instagram at the Littlest Hound. Links are available in the description box below, so you can show your appreciation for their fantastic work. I want to thank Cassie for contacting me to read her story. If you have a book you'd like to be read on this channel, please send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com, so we can turn it into the next video. Also, it would really help this channel if you like the video, share the story with friends and family, and subscribe to stay tuned for the next read aloud coming soon. Unfortunately, this is it for the video. While waiting for the next upload, remember to visit thelittlesthow.com or Amazon to get a copy of this incredible book. This is going to be it for now, so thanks again readers for joining us today, and until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye bye